Okay. How is it going? Yeah, I saw in your paperwork. I'm really sorry. How long has this been going on? Okay. Has it been pretty consistent? Or do you feel like there are certain times where it's worse than other times? Have you taken anything to try and alleviate the symptoms? Do you know the strength? Okay. And how often? Do you feel like that helped you? Or? Let's see. The problem with symptomatic relief is often it is pretty temporary and then our symptoms come back. So, okay, I just want to do a quick temp, okay? Should do. Roll out, same here. So, this is just going to hover over your forehead like so. Well, I'm not seeing a test, so that's something. Let's take a look at your hands. There is quite a bit of wax in the ear, both ears, and because of that, 
something blocking me from getting a clearer picture of what's going on. But, also, the diminished hearing could also be a sign of, or could actually be the cause of what's causing your diminished hearing. Sorry, I haven't had my second cup of coffee, so sometimes this means my language skills aren't exactly up to par. And if you open for me, beautiful, thank you. I'm just gonna press down on your tongue. And I'm just looking to see if I can see any sort of drainage. Of drainage, such as redness in your throat. Once I don't believe that I see it at this time, have you been experiencing a dry, scratchy throat at all? Or feeling like you have any kind of post nasal drip? here, okay? Let me know if there's any sort of tenderness. I'm just feeling the parotid leaf sounds, which are the notes that are sometimes developed on side in front of the ear. This can become inflamed sometimes when I have an ear infection. Checking me. And so a little region. I'm just going to feel behind for any sign of occipital nodes.
feeling like I'm going to need to clean your ears so that we can identify the problem. See if the lack or the loss of hearing is due to an infection or if it's due to the amount of serum that's presently in your ears. So, to start, I'm going to be just spraying superficially with nitrogen peroxide because it looks like the serum in your ears is pretty compacted. So we're going to start superficially and work our way in on it. I find that it can be a bit more effective to work this way. Okay. Inside of your ears can be quite sensitive. I don't want to cause any undue trauma. So, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put you underneath your ear, so that way if there are any dips, just pick it. And I'm just, this won't sting or anything. The only sensation, if any, will be some tingling, but it's not unpleasant. Um, It's going to take just a couple of minutes to work.
making a tiny bit of progress. Go in with a bulb very quickly. This time we will always not be a bit.
So these are going to pick up okay, as they break up the wax inside of the ink. I think it just has just a moment to do that thing, okay?
monetization I forgot to support these bottoms and side bins. go back and forth because uneven pressure in the air can cause a sensation of loss of balance.
you're hearing right now on your right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good. Just trying to get the remainder here. tissue let's see if we can't do the same thing on this other side
You're able to hear better right now. Good. Let me take a look here. Right. on both sides, which it could be due to just having so much serum in the air. But I would like to check for sure by doing a hearing test, okay? these headphones here that I'm going to be placing over your ears, right? of tones. I want you to raise the hand 
that corresponds with which side you hear the tone on, okay? So it's apparent that you did get all ten correct. Were there any was there any point in which the tones were difficult to hear, like you felt like you needed to strain? Okay. Yeah, to me, you seem to have a pretty quick reaction, so that's good. So, okay. I'm going to do another test here to determine whether or not there could be any sign of fluid in the ear, which is I'm going to be turning your head while watching your eyes very closely. The idea is due to the shifting of these little grains in your ear that may be altered if there is fluid, your eyes can flicker which will indicate to me if you're experiencing a loss of balance. So, I'm going to place my hands on either side, okay? I'm going to start. Just a small movement here. a little weird. But I want to make sure that there is no sign of a loss of equilibrium. So, I didn't see any nystagmus while I was watching your eyes, but do you feel like at any point you felt like you were dizzy, or... Okay. Gonna check your throat again. Okay. Sometimes once we get that serum and unclogged, it can allow any sort of fluid that might be present to drain down the throat. So open for me. Thank you.
not seeing anything here. Not at this point, anyway. So, okay. I'm going to be feeling the external part of your throat. again. Pain. Okay. Okay. I'm not feeling any sort of meaningful changes. Externally. And check your ears now, okay? Just the external parts. Just squeezing. Is there any tenderness or discomfort when I do this? not seeing anything remarkable with the external portions of the ear, but you do. You feel like your ears are clogging again. Let's take a look. That improves things, or there is in fact fluid in the air that I'm not able to see. My thought is here that what's actually happening is 
now that we've removed the cerumen from the ear, the bulk of it, that the, if there is fluid present, it's being able to now move through the ear canal, which would be causing the diminished hearing recurring. But I'm not able to see it, which means if it is in fact present, it's deeper inside the ear than I'm able to visualize. But let's see what happens if I remove the remaining wax from the ear. is okay. Any tenderness or discomfort? Okay.
Hang on one more thing. This is not going to go into the ear canal. Just going to use the applicator just superficially to up anything left in the entrance. Repeat this hearing test one more time just to see if now that this fluid is making itself known, it's going to still affect your hearing or not. So, raising these on your head again.
one more time, right? So, watching your eyes. We did get a good score on the hearing test, so it doesn't appear that the fluid in the ear was necessarily the cause of the diminished hearing, more so the impacted wax. However, that doesn't mean that it's not possible for this to reoccur, but we still need to be proactive about preventing that as well as treating the ear infection. So I'm going to administer one more set of drops. This isn't going to be fizzing this time. More so the idea is to treat it like a prophylaxis. So that way it'll help prevent immediately having your ears get clogged again. So.
should help protect your ears, okay? I'm going to be prescribing you an antibiotic to take as well as some ear drops to help keep your ears from replugging. Uh, I'll flick your low. Just want to make sure. Okay, so here it says no non drug allergies. And that's still correct. Okay. I just want to make sure before we give you an antibiotic that you're actually going to be able to take it. So it is very important that you take the medication for the entire time prescribed because if you miss a dose or you quit early, it can actually contribute to antibiotic resistance, which makes infections a lot more difficult to treat. So we try to avoid that as all costs. Okay. I'm going to be writing you a prescription for amoxicillin. prescriptions here for you and we will go ahead and call those into your pharmacy. And you're still going to Kroger on Northeast 8th? Okay, so we'll get those called in for you right away. So, alright, I am prescribing to you first an antibiotic as well as some ear drops. It is very important that you use both as prescribed because like I said we want to avoid any sort of antibiotic resistance as well as we want this to clear up, right? Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. If you do have any questions about the medication, the pharmacist can go over that with you. So then I wrote these prescriptions for two weeks. At the end of these two weeks, I want you to come back into clinic so we can reevaluate you at that time. Make sure everything is cleared up, okay? Yeah, we'll get you in. So on your way out, make sure you stop by the scheduling desk and they'll get you set up. I'll go and let them know that you are a priority patient so that way they make sure that they find a space for you on the schedule. Okay? Along with
with that symptomatic treatment as needed. So if you're feeling pressure, if you're getting a headache, it's okay to take an anti-inflammatory or an analgesic to help with the pain. Okay? If you are feeling like you are getting stuffy in the nose, taking an antihistamine or a decongestant as well is okay. You hang in there, okay? We're gonna get this cleared up for you. See you in two weeks.